Ava. Hey, congratulations for the Queen of Spades. Thank you so much. <laughs> Are are you are you much of a horror fan? Is that is that why you wanted to do something like this? It's really funny. <laughs> I I am not the hugest fan of horror films, only because I am probably the biggest scaredy cat. Um, I wasn't always that way. I used to love um, watching, for example, like Coraline when I was seven years old. I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. But as I grew up, I kind of turned into this little scaredy cat and avoided horror films. But I, I act in horror films quite frequently, so it's really ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Cor Cor Coraline, it's, is Coraline on as a horror film? I guess that's... Uh... I think, well, I don't, I don't really know, but I know that all of my friends, like in grade one or two, would cry whenever anyone would bring up that movie they think it was so scary but I was like it's the coolest thing like you should watch it it's so awesome <laughs> so for that age I guess you could say that I was like brave <laughs> fair enough so why yeah. did you want to do a, a film like this like Queen of Spades well I thought the script was so cool and I wish that I could watch horror movies because they they are so awesome like to like sit on the edge of your seat, like wondering if they're gonna live or if they're gonna die. Like, I think that's, it's super exciting to watch. So I think that it would be just as fun to act in one. I've done, that would be my third horror movie that I've done. So I would say that I'm kind of experienced in that horror world. So I was like, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> well, what were the other two uh, horror movies you've done before? So the for first horror movie that I did was called I'll Take Your Dead. I shot that movie in 2018. The second one was called Critter's Attack. Um, it's not really like a horror movie. It's more of a kind of gory camper type, you know, movie. Um, and obviously the Queen of Spades is very much a horror movie. So that would be three. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Yeah. Oh. How, how, how did it feel to, you know, play a, a leading character on, on a film like this? Because you, you had to carry this from the beginning all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a lot of fun shooting. I had, like, the best time ever. I got super close with all of the cast and crew. So it was quite easy to act with, you know, such amazing and experienced actors. I, I thought that it was, you know, very interesting to be on set like every single day. So it wasn't like one day I'd be in and I'd wait a couple of days. Stint, and I think that's why it was so easy for me to get into character in that way, because I was just, you know, on set every day and I was kind of used to the environment. What did you like about playing this character? Because your, your character in her own way is several characters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, when I first read the overview of the character, I thought that she was very interesting because she's kind of going through the motions of growing up and, you know, wanting to be cool, but also wanting to do the right thing. So I felt that there was, you know, a lot of freedom for me to figure out how I can portray her. And, you know, with the possession scenes and awesome things like that, I could really let go and bring everything to that. I could scream as loud as I possibly could. I could curve my body. I could do all of these different things to, you, to like differentiate Anna and the demon that possessed her, basically. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> In, in in a possession scene with that was that was, was that enjoyable or was that like a, um, a challenge to you? I think you know a challenge for an actor is enjoyable because you could really get there and at the end of the day after you're you know just finished a challenging scene, you feel like so accomplished like you're like, wow, I really just gave it. And I think that's like the most important feeling to have when you're shooting a film, especially one, you know, as crazy as this one. But it was, 
it was tiring for sure. I mean, my voice definitely did hurt at the end of those scenes, but I would say looking back on it, it was a really cool experience. Like, I don't think I've ever done anything like that ever. So it was super interesting and fun. <laughs> how, how was the experience? Uh, did, you, did you have to do uh, makeup and, and stuff? Because I, I think contacts was definitely there. Yes. So I had contacts in my eyes, which at first was a little weird. Like I, I don't wear contacts. So my eyes weren't really used to them at first. But then after a couple hours, mm -hmm. I got pretty used to it. It didn't bother me that much. It was super fun, you know, like sending pictures to my friends and they're like, oh my gosh, like, what are you even doing? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm getting possessed. It's no biggie. Um, yeah, but it was a lot of fun just getting into like the hair and makeup and stuff for those possession scenes because the makeup was so great. I, I think it was awesome. <laughs> did, uh, did you feel um, bad uh, chasing around a castmate with a knife? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh yeah Jamie and I we had a lot of fun doing that scene we worked with a stunt coordinator for about an hour and a half and we really perfected the ways that I would you know swing this knife at her so you know I wouldn't actually hurt her um but we had a lot of fun kind of like dancing around and doing those movements I, I thought that was awesome. It was so cool the way it turned out. Like it really looked like I was just like trying to swing this big knife at her. It was, it was crazy. It was a lot of fun to do that. I'm, I'm, I, I know there are some C, CG in a film like this, but I'm, I'm curious was uh, with, a lot, especially with the mirror scenes, did, was, was, um, was the actors who played the Queen of Spades ever really out? Uh, acted alongside with you in, in any of these scenes? Um, I'm trying to remember. I believe not very much, actually, because a lot of it was, you know, CGI. There was a point where I think Mary was having a dream that I was getting pulled into the mirror and the hands weren't actually, you know, the actress's hands. They were somebody else on set, but that was so cool. Like I was against this kind of green screen, um, but it turned out so cool in the final product. But I was really just being pulled into this kind of like green fabric with these long like black um, nails and the the skin was all like veiny. It was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about these, uh, these, these films or these rit rituals, you know, they're, they're it's, it's not the first time that, you know, we have teens playing, you know, rituals with the mirror and trying to summon demons. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you think about uh, young people liking to play these games? Why, why do young people love these things? <laughs> I think, I, I think it might be something to do with boredom, where it's like, hmm, what could we do to make this night like the coolest thing, you know? Um, so I think that's why like all of these teens get together and they're like, let's play Bloody Mary. Let's sit around, let's call her, let's see what happens. There's always that one guy who shuts off the lights, everyone screams, right? Um, so I think a lot of kids would do that because they want that excitement and that kind of scaredness that you'd get, you know, watching a movie. They kind of want to live through that a bit. <laughs> Have, have you ever tried to play any of these type of games uh, yourself? No. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, my friend, I think she once bought a Ouija board and we played that and I was so scared. And I know because my friend was moving it, like I could definitely tell that my friend was moving the thing. But still, I was like, I'm not doing this. Nuh-uh. And I remember like at, you know, during recesses in grade three and four, um, like we'd pretend to like summon a ghost or something like that because it's that kind of excitement. It's that scaredness that you get. But I don't think right now I would go and play Bloody Mary because I'm not chancing anything. <laughs> I don't want to end up like my character. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah. After getting a three, four films under your belt, uh, is it easy for you to basically turn all this off at the end of the, at the end of the work day and not get any nightmares. Mm. 
this this one was a little different, <laughs> I would say, because when we were filming the scene where we were actually possessing the Queen of Spades, you know, I was saying, Queen of Spades, show yourself three times, which is really the ritual that you would do to summon the queen, basically. And I'm like, mm, I'm kind of scared now. So I kind of go to sleep and I'm like, I really hope I'm not going to die. <laughs> but I, I do know that we left out a little thing, I believe, um, just so we wouldn't chance anything because you honestly never know. Um, I wish I remembered what it was that we left out. I'm not sure if it was like, you have to do it at nighttime and we did it during the day. It was something like that. And we were like, okay, phew, like we're fine. Like We're not going to get possessed today. <laughs> I, I guess that would be the the worst thing in the world if you if you pretend to do a ritual and it actually happens on set. I know. Imagine like I was actually possessed and they're like, wow, she's doing such a great job. She's really method acting. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would be a little bit too meta there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So 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 for you so for yourself, do you want to do more horror movies or do you you would like to branch out into no definitely I would love to do more horror I think it's so much fun I would definitely do more horror definitely so much fun <laughs> excellent well let, let me wrap it up with one more thing with you sure. um do you, you you know as as everything starts to open up everyone's starting to go back to work and, and stuff you have upcoming projects yourself so not right now. We're doing lots of self-tapes because there are so many productions that are, you know, starting, they're stopping, they're resuming, they're auditioning again. So there's been lots of that. <laughs> I did do um, a fun little shoot in Montreal for a, about five days. It was a really cool Ecobee um, commercial shoot where I was like walking around doing lots of talking and it was great to be back in a set environment just if it was, you know, four or five days. Um, that was a lot of fun. I'm very excited, you know, that everything's opening up and I can get back to work in a normal way because there's not, you know, in-person auditions. So everything's kind of on Zoom or self tape. So it will be nice to get back to some form of normality for sure with auditioning. That is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, congratulations once again for Queen of Spades. And you know Thank what? You. You're, you're, you're such an enjoyable conversationalist. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>